Hi, it's Luke Bowman here. Welcome to my video lesson for the intro to Do I Ever Cross Your Mind? The original of this was done by the fantastic Chet Atkins with Dolly Parton singing. What I'm actually looking at today is an arrangement by Ariana Powell that she posted on Instagram. If you haven't checked out Ariana, please have a look at her page. She's a very talented player and I love this arrangement that she did. One of my students actually asked me how to play this and I didn't know, so I thought I'd have a go at transcribing it. We'll have a look at the playback video in a minute and you'll see that I've done the full intro that Ariana does, but I've also done a slightly simplified version, so you can have a go at both. If you do enjoy the video, please give it a like and also subscribe to my channel. Also check me out on Facebook and Instagram, the links are below. Okay, let's have a look at the playback video. As you can see in the playback video, I'm playing my Music Man Luke, appropriately named guitar. I got this a couple of months ago, secondhand on eBay. It's actually the Piezo or Piezo model. Um, so it has the Piezo, Piezo built into the bridge. So it gives that kind of acoustic sound. You can also blend it as I did in the video with the neck pickup. switch completely to the, the active pickups on their own. And then it'll sound like a normal electric. So I'm hoping to use this a lot live, very versatile guitar. However, I've got light strings on here and, and we have to tune our bottom E string down to D. And it's not sounding fantastic quite a bit of buzz, struggling on the tuning side of it. It took a lot of time to get that recording right. So for the lesson, I'm actually going to switch to my Telecaster and use that. Okay, let's zoom in and we'll start the lesson. Okay, I'm going to start with the easy version. If you want to jump straight to the full version, there's a link below, you can do that. But it is good to maybe learn the structure of it first and then we can build up to it. So the song is in D, D major, and as I said before, you need to tune your bottom E string down to a D. Okay, in this song, we're finger picking, so there's no plectrum. Good little workout for your right hand. So we're starting off, third fret on your B string, and your open bottom D, it's two Ds. And then an A, second fret on your G string. Bottom D string again, then third finger on your G string, and then back to the third fret on your B with the bottom D. It's that first little phrase. And then back to the, the A on your G string, second fret, bottom E, and then the fifth fret on your B string with your fourth finger. What I would say is try and let all of these notes ring through as much as possible. The speed you play at that is totally up to you. The version that Ariane is doing is at about 105 beats a minute, which is pretty fast. Um, so you can slow it down and build the speed up. Okay, second bar, we're moving up to what is a G chord. If you think of your C major chord, all the way up here to a G. And we're playing the ninth fret on your D string, seventh fret on your G, eighth fret on your B string. Hitting that open D again on the bottom. Hit the seventh fret on your G again, bottom open D and then seventh fret on your D, G and B strings. So a D major chord. So we're kind of moving from the D here to a G, 
back to the D. And then we have a little run. Seventh fret on your B string. Eighth fret on your B string. Seventh fret on your B string. Ninth fret on your G. Seventh fret on your G. So that whole bar. If you can leave that bottom D ringing, it sounds very nice. Next bar, we're moving to a G chord. You would usually play it like that, but we're tuned down, so your G is actually up here. So, fifth fret on your bottom string, third fret on your B string, open G, open D. And then sixth fret on your B string, so that F there, which is dominant seventh, down to the fifth fret, back to the third, and then fourth fret on your G, pull off to the open G. So that bar. And then we're going back to the D chord. So here we're adding fourth fret on your D string. Third fret on your B, second fret on your G string. So that D chord. In the full version, Ariana then does a very fast D major scale run up. I've just shortened that, so it's still pretty fast. So it goes like this. So seventh fret on your D string to the ninth fret. Sixth fret on your G. Seventh fret on your G. Ninth fret on your G. 7th fret on your B, 8th, and then 10th fret. So it's D major scale. If you were to do three notes per string, we'll look at that more in the, in the full version. But for here, we're just going. The 16th note's too fast for you. I was just playing 8th notes on the 7th fret, 9th fret on your G, 7th fret, 8th fret on your B, and then it will take you to the next chord. So if you can manage the 16th notes, if not, would work as well. So the next bar, after that run up, we are up to the 10th fret on your B and E strings with your bottom open D. So think of a D major chord up here, top two notes. 10th fret on the B string, open bottom E, 10th fret on the B string, and then we're going to a 9th fret with the bottom open, and then the 10th fret, bottom open D, and back to the 10th fret. So that bar, so we're going from a D major to a D major 7, dropping that D down to F sharp, giving you the major 7th of the chord. Next bar, 12th fret on your B string, with the bottom open D, and then 12th fret on your D, and 12th fret on your B, so we're doing some sixths here, up to the 14th fret, back to the 12th, down to the 7th, so 7th fret on your G and the B, up to the 11th and 12th, take off your third finger to the 11th and 10th, again with this bottom D. So that all together. Then down to the seventh fret, again on your D, G and B strings. Then up to the eighth fret on your bottom string and your B. Seventh fret, seventh fret on your D in the middle there. Switch over, seventh fret on your bottom string, fifth fret on your B string. And the open B string, and then we're back to the to the D. So this one's a bit awkward fingering wise. Okay, so that bar, we're ending up here on the third fret on your B and your open D, second fret, and then the second and third frets together. Open B, back to the second fret and the third. You might need to have a listen to the timing for this. Rhythmically, it's quite syncopated. Mm -hmm. 
And then we're moving up, some more sixth work here. So bottom D, 12th fret on your G and your E string, up to the 14th fret, back to the 12th, and then the 11th and 10th. Twice, and then 12, 10, 12 on your B string. So, and then the phrase repeats an octave lower. So this time it's fifth fret on your D and B strings, up to the seventh, bottom D, and then three, five, three on your B, four, two, four on your G string. And then we're repeating the phrase down the octave again. So bottom D again, sliding up, second fret to the fourth fret on your D, bottom D, open D string, two, open D string to the second fret, back to the open D string, second fret on your A, open A, second fret. The way Ariana plays this, she gives it a bit of a snap, which is nice. Keep those notes nice and short and crisp. Then we're back to the third fret on your B, second fret on your G, together, open B, and then together with the open D. Two, four on your G string. That's it. So that last part. Okay, so that is the more simplified version. Let's have a look now at the full part. Okay, so the full version that Ariana is playing, which we're gonna look at now, chords are the same, positions are pretty much the same, but there's quite a bit more going on. A lot more 16th notes, a lot more syncopation, a lot more for the right hand to do, a lot more for the left hand to do. So we take it beat by beat, starting off in the same place. Bottom open D, second fret, third fret on your G and B strings. Fourth fret, second fret. Fourth fret on your D, to the second fret again on your G, and then open D, third fret on your B, and then fourth fret on your G. Once again, we're trying to keep things ringing on as much as possible. So those first two beats. Then back to the second and third and your, and your bottom D. Second, third, and then up to the fifth, but with these pedal notes that we see all the way through the bottom D. So, it's that first bar. And then we're sliding up, if you can, to that position. G chord up here, ninth fret, your D, seventh fret, eighth fret. So you're hitting it, then you're hitting the bottom D, and then open top E. 7th fret, bottom D again. So, like that. Enter this D chord, 7th fret on your D, G and B. Bottom D again. Hammer that on, pull it off if you want. 7, 8, 7 on your B string, 9, 7 on your G string. Then we're moving to G chord. If you can, Put a little grace note. From the open D string to the fifth fret. Open D string, third fret on your B, then open G and D. Back to the fifth fret. And then we're going sixth fret on your B, pull off to the third fret, fifth fret, pull off to the third fret. So, hitting the 5th fret, open G and the D, and then the 4th fret, pull off to the open G. Okay. And then we're back to the D. 4th fret on your D, 2nd fret on your G, 3rd fret on your D, back to the 4th fret. Try and keep that 
bottom D ringing through, and then we have a, a run up of a D major scale. So three notes per string, D major starting on the A string at your fifth fret, five, five, seven, nine, five, seven, nine, six, seven, nine, seven, eight, ten. So if you're not familiar with that scale, it's quite a good uh, three note per string. So if you're playing this at tempo, it's pretty fast. So it's all hammering on up to that 10th fret. So that bar, if you can keep that ringing on, it's quite hard not to hit it with your first finger there. Into the next bar, so D sus2 with the E on here, so top two strings, 10th fret B and E string, 9th fret on your G string and your bottom D, and then pick the 9th and 10th frets, bottom D again, and this part, Again, this is quite awkward to do and keep this open string ringing through. So we're doing 10th fret on your E string, open G, 9th fret on your D string. Then we're going to D major 7. So we'll repeat D major, drop the D down to a C sharp to give you that lovely D major 7 chord. Bottom D again, 12th fret on your D, 11th fret on your G, bottom string, 10th fret on your B. So that is quite a difficult bar to do when you've just done that quick run up. That took me quite a bit of practice, something you need to work on slowly, getting the run up straight into that chord and that finger picking part. But sounds very good when you make it work. Okay, next bar, 12th fret on your B string, open, twice and then we're using some sixth here from the 12th fret on your D and your B up to the 14th fret back to the 12th fret from D down to the 7th fret up and D again moving up from the 7th fret on your G and B up to the 11th and 12th take your finger off so you've got 11th and 10th on your G and B 7th fret on your D, G and B, and then we'll go into this chord, B flat 6 now, the A6, 7th fret, bottom string and the B string, and then add the 7th fret on your D and the open G, then you need to switch around, fingering wise, 7th fret still, and the 5th fret on your B, with the open D, pull off, to your open B. So that bit goes like this. Fingering about that part, again when you're doing it at speed, is quite difficult so it needs a bit of work on it, but sounds really good. So back to the D, fourth fret, D string, second fret, G string, second and third together on your G and B, open B with your bottom D, kind of like adding the sixth to the chord. And then back to the D major, 4th fret, 2nd fret, 3rd fret. Okay, you just need to watch the rhythm of that. And then we're moving up for some more 6ths, up at the 12th fret here. It's so 12th fret on your G and E strings, up to the 14th fret. Back to the 12th fret, and then 11th on your G, 10th on your top E. Back to the D major. Twelve and twelve on your D and B strings. Take off your little finger to the tenth fret on your B string, and then put it back on again. It's kind of adding the sixth again here. And the same kind of thing down the octave. It's so fifth fret on your D and B strings up to the seventh fret, and then fourth and third frets. Fifth fret on your B, so back to that 4th and 3rd on your D and B, 4, 2, 4 on your G string. And then the same thing again, 
further down the octave. So open D, slide up from the second to the fourth on your D string, open string, and then open D string, second fret back to the open, and then on your A string, second, open, second. And the way Arian is playing this one, she's giving it again quite a bit of snap. So keep them nice and short and snappy. And that takes us back into, into the D chord, open D, third fret on your B, fourth fret on your D, second fret on your G, second and third together, open B and your bottom D together, and then the full chord. So that last part. And that is the end of the intro. In Ariana's version, she then goes on and starts singing the first verse, which I am not going to try. But it is a great song. Have a listen to the original Chet Atkins as well. I'm sure you can get a transcription from that somewhere. Great finger-picking work going on in there. But I hope you've enjoyed the video and got something from it. And we'll see you soon for the next lesson. Thank you.